to the stage now and the 1955 play Trouble in Mind, which back then producers felt white audiences could not handle on Broadway in 1957. It started off Broadway. Six decades later, it's finally made it. It's still timely. A lot of stereotyping here. The story about an experienced black actress going through rehearsals of a new play. And amid the comedic lines, a hard look at racism and how people see themselves and others. The lead here in Trouble in Mind is Tony Award winning actress Liz Shans. Everyone listens. They're thinking, has Job been killed? Ruby begins to sing. Lord, have mercy. Tony Award winning actress for The Color Purple, which is when I met you. So glad to see you again, LaShawns. How are you? I'm wonderful. So great to see you as well. I can't believe it's been that long. It's been a long, <laughs> long time. Um, this is your eighth Broadway show, Trouble in Mind. There's a lot going on here. It's a roundabout theater production. Tell us, yeah. uh, tell us more about what this play is about. Sure, it's a play within a play, written in 1955, um, and Alice Childress was very cleverly able to highlight the stereotypical roles that black actors are given at even at that time, which still is relevant today. But she was also able to show what we as black actors think about some of these stereotypes. And when we are confronting, confronted by white creative teams, how they may not necessarily be sensitive to what we're trying to say, but what Alice Childress was able to cleverly do is expose the truth within these characters, not only the black characters, mm -hmm. but the white characters as well. And just again about how it is timely still. Mm -hmm. um, art imitating life here. We have another scene that shows the contrast and in the views and the realities of blacks who hold pivotal roles on stage and off. Let's watch. Aren't you proud to be a part of it all? Of what all? Theater. Show business. It's just a business. Color folks ain't in no theater. You ever do a professional show before? Yes, yeah, some off-Broadway and I've taken classes. Oh, don't let the man know that. They don't like us to go to school. Oh, well, <laughs> now I... No, they want us to be naturals, you know, just born with the gift. <laughs> of course, they want you to be experienced, too. Tell them you was in the last revival of Porgy and Bess. <laughs> Tell me your, your feelings there, LaShawns, uh, playing that role. Uh, you're sort of schooling your character, this, this younger actor. Personally, yes. what is it like for you? Well... In the, the way the play is written, she starts out with this confidence. I've been in this business over 25 years. I know everything that the school can't teach you. I can teach you better what's going on here. Mm -hmm. And what we, what we find out later on in the play as it goes on is that she is being educated about her own her own approach to work and what she knows and what she doesn't know. But in that particular scene, she's trying to tell the the newbie we're calling him the new actor on the scene we're trying to, i'm trying to give him all the ins and outs of what to expect and what not to expect and but we find out we find out that that that's a little curvy journey it, it is and the experience is a little curvy journey because we're in the play we're out of the play uh, yes. i found when I, I was watching in, in an interracial audience at the american airlines theater which is always great um, yes. You know, you're, you're sort of wondering, are people, how do they feel? Is this cutting to the core? They say, is that me? Was that me? Is that somebody I know? What are you hearing from us, the audience? And ironically, you know, the roundabout, so wonderful that they were the, the theater to put this on because they have a, a great audience support, their support of their subscribers and their donors and mm -hmm. everyone comes out. So the audiences are oftentimes very mixed. Mm -hmm. You know, we have everyone from under the sun, young, old, white, black, everyone is there watching and laughing and enjoying it together. But I have heard comments at the end of the show, particularly from, let's say, another middle-aged woman who's a subscriber. Mm -hmm. She might come up to me and say, you know, I didn't, I never thought about my relationship with my child's caregiver, mm -hmm. or I never understood the, 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 the nuance of stereotypes that I, that I just have come to believe are, are just normal. And these are liberal, forward-thinking New Yorkers mm -hmm. who, are, who are being cleverly um, 
reflective about how they see themselves. And then also, then they have the black audience participants who are also there feeling, believe it or not, in 2021, feeling the, uh, the, 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 the fear of, oh my God, we're speaking this out loud. We're saying these very, um, we're having a private conversation publicly. And that's what Alice Childress was able to do. Yeah. She was able to reveal sort of the co code switching, we like to call it, that we have as black people, and I'm sure white people have the similar same things. You have conversations in front of other people, mm -hmm. then you have them privately. He, these, she was able to portray, she was able to expose a, a private conversation between a group of black actors in a situation where the audience could see, once the white actors came on stage, how we switched. Let's uh, look. And, and the importance of that. Yes, the importance of that. Your character, she does not hold back when we're talking about characterizations. Let's watch this scene, LaShawns. It's about my son. He's a good boy, but he got notions that's going to get him in trouble. Our sons always got notions that they as good as anybody else, and we always asking the white folks we work for to change their minds for them. We and she goes on talking about husbands and characterizations. Uh, that cuts right to the core. Yes, and every and, and, and what's wonderful again about Alice Childress is she doesn't. We don't start this way. Mm. We start with. Will let a mayor, my character, really trying to do what the director wants me to do. Because her, her deep desire is to be starring in a play, in a dramatic piece that's meaningful, right. that's saying something, that's, that's really having people question their own sense of race, racism. And she can't literally continue with the facade any longer. So in that clip, we see that she's trying to show the director how the characters are still characterizations of, of people that aren't even considered human beings. Looking, uh, you know, the curtain call, always such an ex exciting time. You've done your work. We get to say, we get to say thank you. And especially in this time, LaShawns, of, of COVID, how about, how stringent is it? We know when we go into a Broadway show, we've got to show our COVID card. Of course, we're wearing our masks. How about cast and crew? What do you go through to make sure you're safe and healthy? Well, the Roundabout Theatre Company is diligent about COVID safety and practicing. So we have, we're tested every single day. <laughs> Before I walk into that theater, I, we, we call it the, the, the spit test where we, we don't do the nasal swab. We do the one where they, uh, they are examining our DNA and pools mm -hmm. to make sure that we are not contagious. And we've had a couple breakouts, but they were able to contain the, the breakout so it didn't go throughout the company. So their, their COVID protocol system is, I think, one of the strongest. And we've been able to maintain our performances. We've not had to cancel, but it is different. Mm -hmm. We are, we, when we're not on stage, we're masks. Mm -hmm. Walking, there, my dresser is standing in the wing with a mask to hand me just to walk backstage, just to walk to my dressing room. Anywhere in the building, we're masked. And um, we are air purified everywhere. But it's just, it's different. It's our new sure. normal. We need the arts, Lord knows that, to, to help our yeah. spirits as well um, and to keep everybody, all the, uh, you know, auxiliary businesses, the restaurants, the hotels. But yes. we, we need you all. Thank you, LaShawn, so much for your time. Thank you. Great to see you. And happy you, holidays. Happy holidays. Continued success. LaShawn, starring in Trouble in Mind, now playing at the American Airlines Theater through January 9th.